Okay, now, folks. Sisters in a couple of days. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like a Monday. But yeah, Sisters is going to be here soon. And first of all, I did not think that video I did about Tony would do as well as it did. The one about will Tony return to save Zack. Over 5,000 hits, 200 something likes, and 34 comments. Pretty good. But regardless, um, I've been seeing some people theorizing that Tony could be Jake's mother. Just a theory. But let's run with it. So, we know that Tony, or excuse me. We know that Jake has a white mother because, you know, once him and Zach were introduced, started talking, you know, we kind of teased him about it, like, come on now, you come in here with that curly hair and everything. No, 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 come on. What, 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 which one of your parents white? You went to Harvard and everything? My mom. Tony is currently married. She's on the verge of divorce, but she is getting married. Oh, well, excuse me. Yeah. She is on the verge of divorce, but she is married to a senator, if I remember correctly, who does a bunch of insider trading deals. Now, we know Tony is coming back to the show because there's that one behind the scenes uh, moment that KJ posted from the bus. And people were like, hey, Jeremy, I think that the behind the scenes content we're seeing from the cast is probably from just the first half of the season. So Tony could possibly come back before the mid-season but if not that's cool we only got three episodes left 9 10 11 because there's only 22 episodes in the season so it would be interesting due to the fact that the only way this would make sense for it to be like this big revelation is if zach actually tells how he got the info i don't know if he will but his back is up against the wall. He's literally in jail right now. So, he could tell his lawyers. And then if, by doing so, Jake finds out, wait, you got it from who? And then, you know, his. then Tony gets back into the show and then it's revealed Jake is her son. And I know some people are like, you know, no, no, no. Tony's coming to save Tony. She ain't coming to save Zach. But... Go back to what I said in previous videos. It might not even be Zach who is the reason for Tony's return. It's the fact Hayden is trying to get Zach to squeal. Hayden was the one that made all these phone calls to all these, you know, the FCC, all these people in the business world. Um, they just all were looking at something that most people didn't notice. I mean, think of it this way. This stock was something nobody expected to blow up the way it did, especially for a newcomer like Zach. Like Jake said, you need to diversify. I mean, if you sprinkle some money on some different stocks and lose, then it won't look like such a big red flag. But when you're dealing with people like the senator and somebody said this in the comments, you know, people who have the complexion to get protection, um, they have been in the stocks for a long time, so nobody's batting eye. But as soon as a brother comes along and wins some money, then everybody wants to look at it. So I think by Hayden addressing this particular stock, it's going to lead to a lot of people, maybe even the wrong people, looking at this stock, seeing who invested. And Zach could just be the first of many people who get investigated. So as a result, Tony's husband, the senator, who could be black, you know, if he let's say he's black, he's senator, married to Tony, a white woman, and Jake is their son. You never know. It'll be funny how things tie up like that. That could be the way to introduce Tony to the series again, as in, wait a minute, you're his mother? Wait, you gave him stock information? So it comes full circle. As a result, it makes it seem like everybody's intertwined. So Zach, if he gets busted, they all go down. So that could add like an extra layer of protection. So let's say that Tony decides, hey, 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 no, 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 I have nothing to do with this. Because I will say this, I don't blame Tony for any of this. Some people are like, well, Tony's the one that got this whole thing started in motion. No, it, she gave the info to Zach. She did not force Zach to do it. She said, hey, I'll give you $50,000 if you open a separate bank account, bank account for it and put it on the stock as well. Because... There's a good chance when we get to divorce, me and my husband, I'm not going to get anything. But 
by having this money and putting it on the stocks, I can at least have money to live off of. But Zach's like, nope, I'm out of here. So he's like, this is getting way too complex for me. And I feel like there's a lot of setup going on here. I'm leaving. So it would have been different if he took that money and then invested it and whatnot. But no, he took his own money on that stock. And, you know, there's a lot of pointing fingers of he did this, he did that. Zach chose to do it. I don't want to see Zach locked up, but he was playing a game that he fully didn't understand. He went to Preston, and I'm not blaming Preston either. Preston just said, well, if you have a good feeling about this stock or whatever, then I feel like you should go all in. I mean, he's like, hey, if you were in my position, what would you do? And like he said, you know, if I were in a position and it was a information I felt was, you know, I... If I, if my gut told me to, I would go all in. So Zach was the one who went to the bank, opened the account, and put in the money. Nobody made him do it. So I'm not pointing the finger at anybody. Now in terms of snitches, that's freaking Hayden. That that's Hayden. That's all Hayden for you know getting making all these phone calls, just being a hater. He's like that one person on the job. He's like, wait a minute, how come so-and-so got a promotion and I didn't? Okay, let me look over their performance record or whatnot to see if there's anything I can uh, dig up so they can lose this job. It's just one of those situations where it's like, man, shut the hell up. Ain't nobody talking to you. Just sit at your desk and, you know, keep an eye on uh, Andy for uh, Gary or something like that. So I think that Tony and Jake being related can add a new layer to this because it'll be just hell. It will be great because kind of like the whole, oh my God, could Karen be pregnant with twins, one for each you know, men or each man, one for Aaron, one for Zach. It's just one of those things where I believe Tyler could bring this full circle. He has a knack for intertwining characters. Now, it would be more interesting if uh, Zach did tell Jake and then Jake was able to put two and two together. And as a result, he could use his, I guess you could say, family ties to protect Zach. It's like, hey, you gave this guy information and now he's locked up over it if this came to light of how he got that info that can blow up dad's career and i know y'all are getting a divorce but we need to clean this up and then that leads to hayden and then he gets his ass killed beaten up or whatever and like i said in my video uh what, what, what video was that well tony it was either a tony return or uh what will fatima do when she finds out that zach got arrested hayden is trying to, I guess you could say, shine the, you know, the police helicopter lights on Zach. But I feel like he's pointing the light at other white people who are involved in this illegal activity. And as a result, Fatima's goons will be the least of his worries. He will have the attention of white people who he brought attention to by the FCC and other federal, you know, corporations that do not like this insider trading. To be honest, it's giving me oval vibes in regards to it's all about money. Politics, no, it's all about money. It's not for the good of the country. F this country, F the people. It's all about money, 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 money. And if you mess up money, especially for white folks who are used to getting money like that, Hayden's a goner. So, what do you think? Do you think it's quite possible that Tony could be Jake's mother? And she's married to the senator who's black. And then as a result, this adds like, you know, extra, extra, extra protection to Zach so he gets out scot-free. Hayden's probably going to try, 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 and try some more. But it's not going to work because Zach has friends in different places now. So... With that being said, just thanks so much. That's why I love reading the comment sections. I know I can't respond to everybody because there's a lot of comments to go through. But, you know, I'll highlight some of the really, really good ones and do videos on them. But do you think Jake and Tony could be related? Do you think this will all add up and help Zach get out of jail? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.